Hey guys, welcome back to Elden Ring. Um, where were we in the last episode? We had just finished um, a catacomb. Or, I mean it definitely was a catacomb, it had the same kind of layout, it just had a bit of a unique entrance I think. And uh, we had a bit of a battle with a assassin, a black blade. Um, cool, so that leaves us with what to do in this episode. Just hang on one sec. Oh, excuse me. I had to sneeze. Um, yeah, what to do with this episode, man. I'm really loving this, uh, this weapon, I have to say. Um... Okay, we've got a bunch of lightning sheeps. Sheeps. Uh, lightning sheep. Uh, or goats. Um, they don't seem to attack us, so that's good. Whoa, that's cool. Um, come on, yes. Lightning Bram? What? Ash of War Lightning Bram. Does that mean we can roll like a Lightning Bram? That'd be amazing. Oh god. You made me do it. You made me do it, goat. The routing of the ancient dragons, Godwin the Golden fought to the last, earning the friendship of a dread Fortisax. Hey, what's up, bud? He hasn't seen us. Oh, yes, he has. <laughs> nice! Very nice. First time we've been able to use this thing. Um, it did chow pretty much all of our FP though. It's unfortunate. We have so many flasks though. We can almost do another FP flask. I've never needed a second FP flask though, I have to say. Um, oh god. Jeez, this walking forward business, man. I gotta, I gotta fix this controller. I tried cleaning it with, uh, I was looking online and they're like, you have to, um, take a, uh, an earbud or a, a Q-tip, as, as they say in the States. And, uh, you have to, like, dip the Q-tip in alcohol. Like, uh, you know, like medical spirits or whatever. And, uh rub it around the the analog stick and then like move it all around and that supposedly helps i don't think it's that though dude this is like a brand new um xbox controller it's a series x controller as well it's a fancy one so <clears throat> i don't know what the deal is So, uh, I was nearly involved in an accident today, I have to tell you. Um, I came to a, uh, a traffic light. <laughs> the battle music cracks me up each time. Uh, so I came to, a, a, as we call it, a robot in this country. We call them robots. Um, and uh, everyone, else, everyone else calls it a traffic light. Um, and people laugh at us for calling it a robot. But the way I see it, less syllables, man. You know, it's easier to say. Robot, you got two syllables. Traffic light, you got three syllables, man. Half your life is, is wasted. Um, <laughs> Come on, bud, I'll take you on. Nice. 
got our stuff back. Um, yeah, so uh, I came to the traffic light and uh, it was um, just about to turn green for me and so it turned green and I started to go dude and this guy just came from the right and just like flew past um, like he he went through his robot had just turned red and he just like sped up and like sped through and nearly hit me dude so freaking close um, and uh yeah, a lot of people do that, man. For some, for some people, orange means, like, speed up. <laughs> but I suppose that's the fundamental problem with um, traffic and with driving. And that's why there's so many accidents is, you know, everyone has their own kind of internal rule book when it comes to things like driving, you know. Like, uh, for one person, the orange light will mean stop. For another person, it will mean, you know, there's still time. And, uh, yeah, we all have these, our own little, like, internal systems, I guess. And, uh, that's where, that's where accidents happen. When you get two people whose internal systems are out of alignment. Dude, what the shit? What the shit is this? What? It's a lightning dragon? Holy crap. I'm not ready for this. He's got a sword. Dude. <laughs> what? Um, okay, I, I was not ready for that at all. Um, it's like a red lightning dragon. Uh, how do we get out of here? This way? Oh, what's this? Shadow bathes in light and knows weakness. Oh, it's just a tip for how to, um... How to fight the shadow beasts. Dude, how do we get out of here? Oh, we, we're all the way at the bottom. We gotta take the lift. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, so everyone's got their own like internal system that they use uh, to navigate through life, I guess. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's how accidents happen, man. Like, um, the fast lane, for example, uh, you know, a lot of people are like, if you're in the fast lane, uh, and you're doing the speed limit, you're allowed to be in the fast lane, right? And then other people are like, no, if, if you're in the fast lane, it's for people going over the speed limit and like, you know, it doesn't make sense when you say it out loud, but internally that's what they're thinking. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's a problem, man. That's why I'm all for self-driving cars. Bring it on. Okay, uh, give me more ruins, please. Thank you. Where's this dragon? There he is. Come on. dude okay so we gotta watch out for the wave of lightning that's like that's the that's the issue that is the coolest this weapon is so awesome man okay we didn't attack there for some reason He did 725 damage. I think this is like a stone dragon or something.
He doesn't do the the stomps or like the normal dragony moves that we've like gotten used to. Uh, okay, there's breathing fire. Well, that's not fair. You can't have electricity and fire. Whoa! We're in trouble. We're in big trouble. I don't know what's happening. Run away. I can't see him. I don't know what's happening. Bad things, probably. Oh god, we are very low. Oh, man. Yeah, when he does that big lightning sword, it's time to run. Okay, so as cool as this twin-bladed sword is, um, it just it just doesn't have the damage. It doesn't have the damage we need. Grab our ruins. Whole area is covered in lightning, dude. Oh. Get up, get up, get up. Fire, fire everywhere. Oh god. Heal. Yes, yes. <laughs> Don't ask me, just do it. Yeah, man, this thing has like serious like resistance or something we were doing 300 damage oh oh it's the lightning goat you son of a bitch you're gonna get us both killed Tricky. Come on, Tarn. Yeah, we're stuck in the scenery, that's not good. Nice, hit him in the head. He's trapped in the scenery, very nice. Now, come this way, bud. I don't want to fight you there. Yeah, this is dangerous. Run, Torrent, run. We've got the frickin' lightning everywhere, we've got the lightning goods. He's got four wings, I've just noticed. This dragon is super cool, but also terrifying. Ancient Dragon Landsaw. Oh god, what's he doing? Oh no. Okay, we're fine. Torrent took a hit though. seen that move before. We nearly had him though. That was super close. Super, super close. Whoa, dude. This is real pretty. This whole area is just covered in lightning, man. Okay, where are you, bud? There he is.
Whoa, whoa, things are. There comes the goat. <laughs> Goats are the real threat here, man. Yeah, that's how we killed us last time, I think. Oh no, that's the sword. seem to target his abdomen as well. It's very strange. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Get close. Yeah, I think that's what killed us last time. Seems a little unfair that he does fire as well. Run away. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that was not the right move. Got him in the head, very nice. We got him, dude. We got him. Lancel's Glaive. Ooh. That was a cool fight, man. Yeah, so basically he was like a huge version of, I mean a tiny version of the huge dragon that's kind of like dead in Lindell. He was tough as well. I'm sorry, Lightning Goat, it's just, it was spiteful, but these goats, I think the goats are basically responsible for me dying twice in that flight. Shame, they're just goats. I shouldn't take it out on them. They're just doing their, they're living their best goat life, you know? Oh, back to this bad boy. I think we need level 6 smithing stones to upgrade it. And uh, we just don't have enough. Check this spot out. I've never been down here. Nice, a land octopus ovary. My favorite. Uh, why are there so many messages here? Fruit ahead, but I can't take this. Praise the fruit, except I can't take this. Uh, it must have been like a bug and they fixed it because I definitely could take that fruit. I definitely took in the fruit. Lovable sort. Oh, friendship. Like a dream. Oh man, half these messages, I have no idea what they're trying to say. It is rather lovely though, I have to say. Look at that view, dude. Not so sure about this, like, sulfur yellow sky though. That doesn't look too hot. Let's go back this way for a little bit, um, see if there's anything else. And then I think what we do is head for the rolled gate and uh, continue the main quest line. Thought maybe that was a cave. Could this be a hole? What? Oh, it's one of the big boys. Oh, these like really tough skeletons. Let's go. Whoa. It's tricky to land that.
Um, don't think we've been here before. Oh, we didn't destroy him. Oh no, that's bad. Rookie error. Oh god, dude, this is bad. This is real bad. Luckily they're not too fast on their toes. Whoa, somehow. Oh man, I, I felt it coming. I knew it was gonna happen. We have 130 ruins as well. Eesh. Be wary of trio. Oh, thanks. But late for that. Yeah, these guys have some serious poise for for much of skellies. And stamina to boot. Nice. Oh, we gotta kill him. <laughs> that was close. Almost made the same mistake. Let's go, skellies. Yeah, that's pretty devastating, actually. This uh, charged attack. That was so easy the second time around. Oh, dude. <laughs> Every time, come on. Come on, brain. Why do you betray me? Being down here, oh, it's a uh, it's a flower. So maybe it was a side of grace. I also want to go check out um, that like ghostly rise, dude. I'm pretty sure it's. Wah! Oh, just ate that one. Pretty cool weapons these guys have. Okay, don't forget. There we go. Okay, this is a dead end. Uh, yeah, let's try that out quick. It's uh, it's definitely what's over here. Lots of worm boys around, uh, so it's in this direction. We're, we're going to want to wait for nightfall, I think. And what we're going to want to do is spend our runes before I forget and take off some of these spells as well. Um, so level up. Yeah, we just keep going in a strength, dude. And I think we can spend some runes. We need 20,000. Perfect. Oh, 
we just short. We need like another two thousand, one and a half thousand. Super strong. this touch three phantom crests there's one back here I'm pretty sure we saw it like Spewing, oh my god, it's just everywhere now. Whoa, that gave me a fright. We got him, nice. one it is really dark really really dark So I guess we just have to uh, touch the touch the thing to get rid of the phantom imps. Last one should be in this direction somewhere. Whoa, dude! Just the smithing stone. I, I'm feeling these guys are kind of blind or something. Because they often don't seem to be able to find you. Where is it? Try up and then secret ahead. Oh, I think I see it. Nope. Ah, oh, look at that. Hidden behind a rock, or inside a rock rather. Check all the messages. So that should have done it. Back to the uh, back to the rise, I guess. There are so many wood folk around. They, uh, they remind me of, um, the Titans from, uh, Attack on Titan, the way they're kind of, they're sort of knock-kneed, 
and kind of gangly. Do you ever notice that uh, all of the, the giants in Attack on Titan look Caucasian? They're all Caucasians. <laughs> I know, it's just something I noticed. Kind of weird. Unseen blade, that sounds like a sorcery thing. Unseen form. Slumbering egg, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. At least it wasn't an extra friggin' um, spell casting medallion. We have too many. Whoa, this is a serious cliff here. Okay, man, I think. It's time for the rolled route. Get Rick rolled, son. Forsaken Depths. East Capital Rampart. Yeah, I think it's East Capital Rampart. Or is it Cathedral of the Force? Oh, this is all underground, I think. Oops. Yeah, so I think uh, I think this is the closest we can get. Okay, so the uh, there was a mist wall here, and it's just gone now. So obviously the uh, Morgoth seal is automatic. I would love to upgrade this thing. What kind of damage does it do? Standard and pierce. Yeah, it seems to, whenever we attack a um, an armored foe, it seems to make a, an ineffective type sound. This sounds like ineffective. Okay, come on. How did that get us? <laughs> nice, dude. This thing is so cool. Oh, what? Somebody is sniping us, dude. Oh my god. Oh, in the in the ankle. Where is he? There he is, a sneaky bastard. you get okay let's uh, recuperate here is still alive. I'm glad about that. <laughs> Never seen that before. Can we mount him? Run away, horsey! You guys always seem to drop a partisan. Get our 4,000 ruins back. Very nice. Knight's great sword. Yeah, we've already got one of those. Okay, we're gonna have to be. Did that thing try to kick us? Oh, I see you. Which side is it facing? Okay, this is yeah, this is the good side. Whoa! Whoa! What? 
It's a boss. Dude. <laughs> Level 6 Somber Smithing Stone. What is that, man? I have never seen that before. I thought it was going to be, like, a little bit more challenging, actually. I thought it was going to turn into, like, a boss beetle. That would actually be quite funny. It's exacting vengeance for all of the... its fallen comrades, all of the other scarabs we've massacred. Whoa, dude. That is a rather large tree. Like reaches up beyond the clouds. Onwards. This is a large area, dude. Is this going down? I think so. And that is leading to another divine tower. Check the corners. Evening tarnished. <laughs> That's great. I applaud you, sir. Like, this character's like all casual, leaning against the wall. Points for creativity. I think we, uh, I think we check out this uh, divine tower first. Like, half made out of rock, dude. Oh, God. Uh, what? Torch is making no difference. Okay. What? It's a fell twin. Dude, this is weird. We're gonna have to make that trip all over again. Holy crap. And we're back after 10,000 years. Holy crap, dude. This is a very long way to run. I'm thinking that maybe we go down first and just see if there's a side of grace. Because I do not want to do that again. So far, man, you start all the way back at the east gate. You gotta run the whole way. What's going on down here? So I just finished the uh, the fourth season of uh, Stranger Things. Yeah, there is a side of grace. Very nice. And uh, yeah, without giving anything away. Um, no spoilers, promise. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. It's been steadily getting weaker and weaker, in my opinion. Um, first one was, was really cool. It's like a shot of nostalgia, you know, straight to the vein. Um, kind of like hearkening back to like the Goonies and I don't know, like 
Back to the Future and like all those kind of 80s, 80s kind of classics, E.T. and all that. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. A again, it's there's there's just too much like screen time for the kids for my liking, um, and that's maybe just me. Um, uh, I, I think also they're they're stuck with like a, a lot of the kids when the when the series first started were like proper proper kids like the one guy was just in the first season just stuck in the upside down for pretty much the entire season <laughs> and that's his that was his entire role now he's like heavily kind of featured and um yeah man i don't know a lot of them are just i found just kind of like annoying to be honest like a lot of the characters i mean there's some really good characters but most of them yeah i don't know wasn't doing it for me these guys are beefy dude Let's go. At least they're doing like one at a time here. There's our ruins. Not that it's a lot, but well, it's not one not, you know. The other one's like getting closer, dude. Nice. Got him in the big toe. And this one is an omen, yeah, so he's gonna do this kind of crap. Yeah, the great sword is just kind of OP, man, because it does so much stagger. Whoa! Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, that. Uh, I don't know what kind of flame that is. It's potent. Um. Okay, I think this is actually. This is great sword time, dude. Um, we get that stagger, it does a lot more damage. Um, I think we're just making things harder for ourselves by trying to look cool, you know? Let's go, big boy. Yeah, oh, look at that, dude. The damage. Whoa. That was close. And you're dead, just like that. Yeah, this <laughs> this great sword is OP, man. How these guys just get slapped around? Completely trivialized. Okay, let's not get cocky. Nice. Grab the item quickly. That's oh, just a golden rune level one. We got Omen Killer Rolo. And now they give us a side of grace. Isn't that kind? Okay. Because we're on the other side, I see. 
I see. Oh, dude, that was completely trivialized by the using this great sword. Um, let's go back to the twin blade. Going for style points, you know. So we got a new ash. Uh, look at all these ashes, dude. Got Night Maiden and Swordstress Puppets, Finger Maiden, Ancient Dragon Knight, Kristov, Lutel the Headless, a Mimic, dude, that might be actually pretty damn cool. Omen Killer Rolo, Summon Spirit of Omen Killer Rolo. Spirit of Rolo, known as the first Omen Killer, once a famous perfumer. Rolo imbibed a physique to rid himself of emotion, thus enabling him to enact his nightmarish labor, hunting the omen. So you got an omen's hat on? Oh, this is Trisha, who's a perfumer. The ten of the Albanoric. This is, I think this is the woman uh, whose wolf was killed. Rare case of one who chose to become a spirit voluntarily. The tenor was renowned as a deft magic archer, but having lost her beloved wolf companion Lobo, she cannot move from the place where she was summoned. Huh. Interesting. Blind Tower of East Altus. Is this going to be Morgoth's Great Ruin? Up we go. That's a heavy thud. That's how you can tell we've arrived. I think a lot of people are using this jellyfish shield. I think it absorbs like the most damage or something. Be wary of despair. That's a long way down, dude. Just give me the heebie jeebies. Onwards. It is. Look at this. Morgoth's Great Ruin. Nice. Um, greatly raises maximum HP. Oh. Yeah, man. Godric is... Uh, Godric's Great Ruin still seems the best. It just raises all your attributes, man. So more damage, more defense, more everything. So I think this is where we headed. Um, from that little taste we got when we went down to the bottom of the lift, um, it looks like it's kind of a snowy area. It looks really cool, like quite atmospheric. Um, but we will have to get to that in the next episode, guys, because this is where I'm going to end it. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, you guys are awesome. You're amazing. Until we see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh,